As soon as the war starts and as soon as Italians become branded enemy aliens, they're essentially uh, asked to forget, right? Forget your culture, forget your language, forget everything, right? And pick America. Otherwise, you are not American and you are out, right? And so there was a sort of, I like to call it a cultural amnesia that was asked of the Italians, right? If you want to be accepted, right? Because I think it kind of goes back to my thesis of whiteness, right? Italians at least looked white. And so they could be accepted in ways that the Japanese could not be, right? During World War II, right? They were not viewed as American during the war in any way, shape or form. Whereas the Italians at least looked quote unquote American. One person I came across my, in my research was this man, Louis Barizzi, who uh, was arrested, detained, interviewed, and eventually interned for having basically talked about in, in a letter um, that he could not choose between the US and Italy, right? He viewed Italy as his mother and he viewed the US as his bride, right? In the, in the sense that he had chosen to come to the US to make a better life for himself and his family, but Italy was always gonna be his mother and his family, his mother actually lived in Italy, right? And so he was sort of torn, as many Italian Americans were, torn between the two countries, torn between the two groups of people, right? The, the adopted one and the one that he was born with. Um, and so for many Italian Americans, this decision, right, of do I give up my mother, essentially, do I give up my homeland as well as my family in order to be accepted and to not be detained or interned, or do I, uh, you know, or do I try to hold on to that and risk internment and, and risk, you know, uh, financial loss and so on and so forth. That was a very difficult decision for many Italian Americans.